been a while since I did a Bluetooth speaker video, but you love them, I love them, so I'm back with another one, and this one's a little bit different. It's got a twist, and that's why I selected it. It's called Boombotics. This little special attachment, it's got a dock. A dock that not only charges the speaker, but also acts as a subwoofer. Plus, the unit itself is waterproof, and it can hold songs right on it if you wanna have, like, I don't know, some backup tracks your mixtape or something along those lines. This docking thing for me is kind of genius because it acts as an enhancement to the sound. So you're more likely to use it. I love docks. I like to dock things, all right? Anywhere I can dock, I'll dock. Like a ship in the night. What is that from? A little bit of storage for music, Pro Tune Dual Amp Stereo, waterproof three feet. You can control it with Siri or Google Voice. Of course, Bluetooth, all day battery, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm always a little bit skeptical when companies are like, all day. Whose day? My day? Your day? I go to bed late. I never sleep. Cause sleep is the cousin of death. Ryan, you heard that. Yeah, I got it. Do you know the reference? Uh, cousin of death. You never sleep. Maybe next time, right? The subwoofer adds 15 watts of extra rich bass. I'll be the judge of that. I'm kind of excited by the proposition of the way these guys are looking at it. All right. Ooh, there's the unit. More substantial than I expected, and I can understand now why it is waterproof. You still have a micro USB port on it. Is that a clip? Yeah. Like a super hefty clip. I guess you could clamp it onto something if you want. Some dedicated controls for volume, play, pause. What is it? How many? Hex? Six is hex, right? I'm teaching you something here. And then this is the magic right here on the bottom. Those contact points there are going to act as the interface for the subwoofer and also to charge this thing up. All right, cool. The subwoofer part sits like that. Kind of got like an Illuminati vibe to it. Whoa! They got fancy with the micro USB cable. Look at that. White tips and purple cable. I like that! Make a statement! No silica gel for Jack. Looks like he's gonna go hungry today. Oh! Hello there! First thing I noticed plugging it in, there's an LED along the front and on the bottom side of the subwoofer you can see the speaker unit and some sticky feet that keeps it planted. Hello darkness, my old friend. Ooh! That was like a video game, it was like a Mario sound effect! Let's play a song first, just with the speaker. This speaker lets you adjust the volume kind of like beyond where you should. Speakers these days, usually they're like, their limiter kicks in before that. It's like, you gotta act as your own limiter to know where to lay off. If it starts, you know what I mean? If it starts to break up. That's a bit of an amateur move. Like that threshold should be built into there so you can't really do that like this. Oh, holy! Again, reference point here. Speaker by itself. It's kind of crazy how much bass that thing kicks out. Listen, it's not the best Bluetooth speaker I've heard here, plus, you can blast the audio volume to the point of like completely crunching the speaker into nothingness. Maybe if you want a ton of bass in a small package, that thing was thumping. If you're looking for like ultimate audio representation, this one's not for you. But if you just want to thump hard, this might be your thumper. 